never slow up No, I don't take shit, I got no love For the fakeness, if you wanna play tough And wanna hate this, I'll always show up And make a statement, I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit, I got no love For the fakeness, if you wanna play tough And wanna hate this, I'll always show up And make a statement we are back in action here on WWE 2K22 Universe Mode, episode number 57. It's your Thursday night main event, and the Road to Survivor Series continues right here tonight. And already set for our main event. Inside the confines of a solid steel cage, a bruiserweight, a Celtic warrior, man-to-man -man meet one-on-one. -on -one. This match has been building for months all over the Intercontinental Championship, now held elsewhere. But the issues still remain the same. Sheamus, Pete Dunne, one-on-one -on -one inside the steel cage tonight. And as the road to Survivor Series continues, we are going to kick things off tonight with the final semi-final matchup in the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. Naomi, Sasha Banks, set to take on Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell of the way. The winning team's gonna fight Io Shirai and Zia Lee coming up at Survivor Series to crown the new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions of the World. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Orlando, Florida, Naomi! So far in this Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament, Naomi and Sasha Banks have defeated Raquel Gonzalez and Rhea Ripley in the first round. Of course, Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae have defeated Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan. Those two teams now set, and as you can see, the winners are going to move on to fight Io Shirai and Zia Lee, who defeated, defeated Bailey and Dakota Kai on the most recent episode of Monday Night Raw. New WWE Women's Tag Team Champions will be crowned at the Survivor Series pay-per-view originally set for Sunday, October the 16th. That date has changed, and more info coming on when the Survivor Series pay-per-view is going to take place on the next episode of Universe Mode on Monday Night Raw. So stay tuned right here to the No Edition Gaming YouTube channel for all that info. Naomi is in the ring, and here comes the tag team partner, the boss, Sasha Banks is in the house and this is going to be a good one to kick us off here tonight on main event and her partner from boston massachusetts sasha banks sasha banks knows a thing or two about the wwe women's tag team championships one half of the original the first ever women's tag team champions here in the wwe with her former friend bailey now those two women on opposite sides of the spectrum both with other tag team partners in mind. And of course, Bailey and Dakota Kai, as we mentioned, knocked out of this tournament this past week on Monday Night Raw. And they took on Io Shirai and Zia Lee. Damage control will not be moving on to Survivor Series, but Sasha Banks very well may, alongside of Naomi. This is gonna be one hell of a competitive tag team match to kick us off on a night that'll feature a steel cage main event between the Celtic Warrior Sheamus and the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne. Naomi and Sasha Banks set for this matchup, and here come the opponents. Candice LeRae, Indy Hartwell, The Way is in the house here on Main Event. And as we mentioned, these two women defeating Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan in the opening round of this tournament. The last time we saw these two women, now a big opportunity. The stakes continue to rise each and every time. This tournament has taken place over the last number of weeks. And tonight is all about that final opportunity to move on to Survivor Series, punch your ticket to one of the biggest pay-per-views of the year, and have an opportunity to become the brand new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. And of course, it'll be no easy road when either of these teams get to the TD Garden in Boston on that night at Survivor Series. Io Shirai and Zia Lee gonna be a tough task for either team to defeat. Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell have been impressive since reuniting here on the main roster. And Sasha Banks and Naomi, of course, getting the W the last time we saw them as well. So here we go here on main event to kick things off. It is your final semi-final matchup 
in the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament, Naomi and Sasha Banks versus Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae. The bell has sounded and we are underway in your opening contest once again in your main event tonight. The steel cage matchup that's been brewing since the month of June. The Celtic Warrior Sheamus versus the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne one-on-one. -on -one. Things finally going to come to blow. We're going to touch on that situation later on tonight when those two men are inside of the squared circle. And of course, we'll be surrounded by that solid steel cage. Focusing on the action inside the ring right here. Indy Hartwell taking Naomi off her feet. Indy Hartwell's been very impressive, no pun intended, since making her main roster debut. She suffered a couple of losses. Still impressive in defeat, but it was really Candice LeRae making her return after a couple months away due to injury. Indy Hartwell being on the main roster, those two women coming together once again. Former NXT Women's Tag Team Champions are the way. So they have held gold before. They know each other very well. Quite possibly the team with the, the most reps in this tournament, if you will. Maybe a big reason they got by Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan, which was their first night teaming up in part of this Tag Team Championship tournament. Naomi and Sasha Banks, very impressive as individuals, have been impressive thus far, coming together in this Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament, but can they get the job done here tonight and move on to fight Io Shirai and Zia Lee at Survivor Series? That is the main question, as Naomi shoving down Indy Hartwell there. Indy Hartwell definitely the stronger of the two competitors in the ring right now, quite possibly the strongest competitor in the whole match. I don't really think there's any arguing that. And obviously has the size or advantage as well. And very agile in that ring is Indy Hartwell. But when you speak of agility, you got to look at Naomi. Went for an agile maneuver there with that Instaguri, but Indy Hartwell had it scouted. Tagging in her veteran part like Candice LeRae. And now Naomi also tagging in the boss, Sasha Banks. And Sasha Banks and Candice LeRae got some history with each other here on Main Event. You remember several, several months ago in the lead up to our first Universe Mode pay-per-view backlash, Sasha Banks tapped out Candice LeRae to earn herself a Women's Championship opportunity. And of course, Backlash was the last time that Sasha Banks was on pay-per-view. She suffered an injury on that night that caused her to miss several months of action. This has been her second match. Back since making a return, and it may be over just like that. Candice LeRae going for that small package there, but Sasha Banks able to get the shoulder up. Candice taking the fight to Sasha here. Again, both these women have held Tag Team Championship gold before as a singles competitor. Sasha Banks definitely the more decorated of the two. Former Raw Women's Champion, SmackDown Women's Champion, NXT Champion. Sasha Banks has done a little bit of almost everything here in the WWE. She wants to add another Women's Tag Team Championship reign to her long list of accolades already, this time with Naomi by her side. Might get the opportunity to do that. These two women can get by the way here tonight. Candice LeRae scouting that move there. A little insecurity to the side of Sasha Banks. Sasha now trying to unload on Candice LeRae. Trying to fight her off before the boss and the glow get in deep waters here in this tag team matchup. And once again, we want to welcome you back to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. It's episode number 57. Took a few weeks off for hiatus. But we are back here tonight better than ever. The Road to Survivor Series continues before our very eyes right now. And a new date for the Survivor Series pay-per-view will be announced on your next episode of Universe Mode, episode 58, on Monday Night Raw. So stay tuned for more information on when the Survivor Series pay-per-view is coming. It will be still in the month of October. Naomi taking down Candice LeRae. Naomi, the legal woman in this matchup now. Going for the cover on the way to Survivor Series, but... Indy Hartwell in there to break things up. Naomi and Sasha Banks almost had their ticket punched. A train ride to Survivor Series. But Indy Hartwell making sure that did not happen on the ways account. Candice LeRae trying to take advantage of the melee there. Now springboard, beautiful moonsault by Candice LeRae. And into the cover she goes on Naomi, but Naomi gets the shoulder up. Who is going to move on to fight Io Shirai and Zia Lee at Survivor Series? Brand new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions going to be crowned on that night. A night that's already a stacked night of action featuring the WWE Women's Championship matchup between Asuka and Shotzi. A matchup several months in the making. Of course, the main event of Survivor Series going to be a WWE Championship Hell in the Cell matchup between the Champion Edge 
and the challenger, Randy Orton. What a match that is going to be coming up with the Survivor Series pay-per-view. All that and more already signed for the event and more to be announced. We're going to run down the Survivor Series card a little bit later in the broadcast here tonight. Sasha Banks in here and Indy Hartwell taking her off her feet. What a stiff clothesline for the young and impressive Indy Hartwell. And she's got Sasha dazed here. She's got to take advantage while she can. Sasha Banks, a veteran of the ring. As are every woman in this match, really minus Indy Hartwell here. Look at this. DDT may have just knocked Sasha Banks lights out for good. The way may be on their way to Survivor Series, but Sasha gets the shoulder up. The boss survives another minute in this tag team affair on your Thursday night main event. I'm going to thank you very much for joining us. Still to come tonight, Pete Dunne and Sheamus going to lock horns inside a solid steel cage. Naomi getting the tag. Indy Hartwell's already on the top rope. Going for the dive, but no one home. And that may work out in the favor of Naomi here. Rushing leg sweep takes her down. And the way certainly in trouble right now. Momentum shifting back to the boss and the glow. And right now, Naomi going for the Instagram. Indy Hartwell sidesteps it. Indy Hartwell with a shot. Grabbing a hold of Naomi here. Oh, I thought she might have been going for the back body drop, but instead plants her on the knee. The way's looking good as, as Naomi and Sasha Banks are in this contest. But a very competitive semifinal matchup here. As have all the Tournament matches in this tournament thus far for the Women's Tag Team Championships. All eight teams, all 16 women been giving it their all from bell to bell. It's all about who's going to survive and who's going to head to the Survivor Series. It's Candice Ray. What a picture-perfect move. Salt for the top rope. It almost had Naomi there. Candice LeRae, high risk, high reward. Like the attitude of the way or not, definitely know how to get it done inside of the ring. Went for the drop kick there. Naomi able to sidestep it. And that may be what Naomi and Sasha Banks needed there to get some momentum back in this contest. Grabbing a hold of Candice. Nice bulldog. Naomi and Sasha looking good. Naomi into the cover, trying to get the quick victory here. We thought that bulldog was going to be enough to knock out Larray for a moment, but Candice still in this matchup. That's Naomi looking for. We're going to go over top here. Wait a minute. She could be looking for a submission hold. She's got Candice LeRae all tied up here. And this is not going to go good for the way. And I believe Indy Hartwell did break it up, but got laid out by Sasha Banks in the process here. Now Candice is up, though, due to the distraction. Naomi had her back turned, getting her legs taken out from under. And you see how having a tag team partner in your corner and the melees that can occur can really disrupt the momentum of either side in this matchup. Dennis LeRae could have been on the verge of tapping out, but right now Naomi is once again in trouble. Oh wait, may have spoke, spoken too soon, getting Candice into the corner. Candice is dazed, Naomi's gotta take advantage while she can. You gotta imagine Candice is still a little dazed and confused from that submission hold. Well, springs up, going at Naomi. Look at this. Head scissors takes her down. Candice LeRae certainly knows how to take it to the air inside the squared circle. Nice drop toe hold. Now Naomi's out again. Candice LeRae here with a LeRae escape, if you will. And I believe Naomi did not tap out. So I almost thought not, Naomi might have tapped out there, but Sasha Banks, I believe, broke up the count. Indy Hartwell taking care of Sasha Banks, and we're kind of at a one-on-one -on -one affair right now, but Naomi is in deep, deep trouble. Survived the submission hold. Sasha's down on the outside. Candice is headed up top. Going for the splash! Nails it flush into the cover she goes, and we have the team that is moving on the Survivor Series. A hell of a tag team matchup to kick us off here on main event. Naomi and Sasha Banks absolutely giving this match their all, but got to give credit where it's due. Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae came out with a plan and executed it to perfection here tonight. A great tag team matchup, but to the victors goes the spoils, and there are your victors right there. Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell, the way! Well, there you see the updated bracket. 
And the matchup is officially signed. The finals for Survivor Series. Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell up the way. Take on Io Shirai and Zaya Lee to crown the new WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. Well, before we get to our steel cage main event, we got some more action on hand. This man, Karrion Cross, returned to WWE several weeks ago in a successful victory over John Morrison. Tonight, he continues his action against Isaiah Swerve Scott. The dastardly Scarlet by his side. The vicious the angry, the destructive Karrion Cross makes an eerie walk to the ring. It was a dominating performance over John Morrison upon Karrion Cross's return a number of weeks ago. And this former two-time NXT champion is back in the WWE on a mission to make everybody before him fall and pray at his own mercy. It almost sends chills up your spine when the arena goes black and white and these two figments walk to the ring. The question here tonight is as Isaiah Swerve Scott's return to action after a number of weeks off Gonna be enough to take Karrion Cross down. Of course, Isaiah was in action in that battle royal recently here on main event, but it's been some time since he's been on a one-on-one -on -one affair. Back in one-on-one -on -one action tonight. Is he gonna be hot enough? Is he gonna be fast enough to take Karrion Cross down and keep him down in this matchup? That is the question that remains as we get set for our next contest here. On your Thursday night edition of WWE Main Event, it's WWE 2K22 Universe Mode Episode 57 on the Road to Survivor Series. And we're going to run down the complete Survivor Series match card in moments following this contest prior to our Steel Cage Main Event. Cross is in the ring and here comes the Swerve. And his opponent from Tacoma, Washington, weighing in at 201 pounds, Isaiah Swerve Scott. And of course, as we are on the road to Survivor Series, we're also on the road to the WWE brand extension, the WWE draft between Raw and Friday Night SmackDown, which is coming back on the air. Originally was set for Monday, October 17th, but as the same for Survivor Series, stay tuned for a new date. All will be revealed this coming Monday night on Raw on our next episode of Universe Mode. Survivor Series approaching, the WWE Draft approaching. It's an exciting time here on this Universe Mode. You ain't gonna get this excitement, this kind of action, this kind of stories, this kind of atmosphere in any other Universe Mode except right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into our next contest here tonight on Thursday Night Main Event. It's the Swerve back in one-on-one -on -one action versus Karrion Cross. And oh, man, Isaiah with the boot. Almost had Karrion Cross there out of nowhere with that pump kick. Trying to take the fight to Karrion Cross and take it to him fast. Back on the top rope. Look at this. Huracan Rana taking Karrion Cross down. Isaiah's got the right idea. Stick and move and... Do it fast, trying to defeat Karrion Cross here, but Cross gets the shoulder up again. As we mentioned, Isaiah Swerve Scott was last in the ring, a part of a battle royal to determine the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship at Survivor Series. He made it down to the final two against Roderick Strong. Of course, Roderick Strong pulling out the victory in that matchup, but it's been some time. A number of weeks since Isaiah Swerve Scott was in just straight one-on-one -on -one action inside the squared circle. So his return to a singles bout tonight not necessarily an ideal opponent for Isaiah Swerve Scott as Karrion Cross is starting to lock in here. Submission hold on the knee. Grabbing a hold of the Swerve. This is where Isaiah's got to stay in trouble. He started out hot with that big boot and then went to the top rope. But Karrion Cross, you can't let this man get going or he's going to pick you apart limb by limb and showcase his absolutely destructive qualities inside the squared circle. 
Say is down. Look at this. Carrying Cross. The beatdown commences. Inside that ring. And Cross not stopping with the Haymakers. It's only Carrying Cross' his second match back since returning. And he's definitely sending a statement to the rest of the WWE locker room. I don't know if there's any getting up from that Saito suplex. And not tonight. And that speaks volumes as to the destruction of Karrion Cross inside of the ring. It was not too long ago that Isaiah Swerve Scott was taking Ricochet to the limit here on main event for the Cruiserweight Championship. And that's no discredit to those two men, but it speaks volumes on behalf of Karrion Cross and what he is capable of inside of the ring. Getting this victory in just a matter of minutes against Isaiah Swerve here Scott. Is your winner, Karrion Cross. The WWE locker room Needs to absolutely take notice of this man. The former two-time NXT champion with Scarlett by his side is an absolute force to be reckoned with here in the WWE. Karrion Cross with the victory. Well, the next Universe Mode pay-per-view Survivor Series, eight matches signed, one of those being for the Cruiserweight Championship. New number one contender, Roderick Strong, goes one-on-one -on -one with the one and only Ricochet. Of course, the Intercontinental Championship will be on the line as well. Dolph Ziggler becoming the new number one contender in a fatal five-way on Monday Night Raw. He is heading straight for Boston to meet the Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa and the Golds on the line. New match signed for the pay-per-view event, a traditional Survivor Series elimination matchup. Sheamus, Finn Balor, Apollo Crews, and Commander Aziz take on Shinsuke Nakamura, Rick Foogs, Pete Dunne, and the Scottish Psychopath, Drew McIntyre. And in another traditional Survivor Series elimination matchup, it's the Hurt Business in its entirety, set to take on Matt Riddle, AJ Styles, and the current WWE World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic. As we found out earlier tonight, the finals of the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament is set. Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell of the way are going to be Io Shirai and Zia Lee. 2 v 2 for the gold. And of course, the other women's match signed, the WWE Women's Championship set to be defended. Months in the making, this match here is. The Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, meets number one contender, Shotzi. Something's got to give. Who's walking away at Boston with the gold? Speaking of something's got to give, Last man standing, Austin Theory versus John Cena for the third and final time. It's the rubber match between these two men. And only one man's gonna leave Boston left standing. And of course in the main event, inside hell in a cell. The WWE Championship is on the line when the Apex Predator Randy Orton goes one on one with the WWE Champion Edge. Survivor Series, an absolutely stacked event. Official date for the Survivor Series pay-per-view coming up on your next episode of Universe Mode, but it is time for your main event on your Thursday night edition of WWE Main Event. Sheamus, Pete Dunne, locked inside a steel cage. Let's get after it here on Universe Mode. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland. Weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. The Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, has taken issue with the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne ever since back on June 26 at SummerSlam, when Sheamus, Pete Dunne, and Drew McIntyre met in a triple threat matchup for the Intercontinental Championship. Pete Dunne pinned Drew McIntyre on that night to dethrone Sheamus of the Intercontinental Gold. Sheamus took issue with both of those men. He fought Drew McIntyre back at Extreme Rules in the month of August. And then you remember back at Judgment Day a month ago when Pete Dunne and Tommaso Ciampa met for the Intercontinental Championship. Earlier in the evening, Sheamus had ambushed the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne backstage. May have caused issue into Pete Dunne losing the Intercontinental Championship on that night at Judgment Day. So Pete Dunn's out for retribution tonight for Sheamus laying him out in the backstage area back at Judgment Day. 
but a lot of the lives of these men have been intertwined over the last number of months, hence the reasoning for the traditional Survivor Series matchup that has been signed. Team Sheamus versus Team Drew McIntyre. Sheamus with Apollo Crews, Commander Aziz, and Finn Balor by his side. Set to take on Drew McIntyre, Pete Dunne, Rick Boogs, and Shinsuke Nakamura. Of course, Pete Dunne and Finn Balor have history. McIntyre and Balor with recent history as well. A lot of writing on that traditional Survivor Series matchup. One of two four-on-four -four matches that's going to be taking place at the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts on our next Universe Mode pay-per-view Survivor Series. But before we get to Boston and before we get to Survivor Series, we got ourselves a good old-fashioned steel cage matchup here tonight. Sheamus, Pete Dunne, the Celtic Warrior, and the Bruiserweight. Here we go. It's your main event. Pete Dunne and Sheamus one-on-one -on -one inside this cage. No eliminations in this contest. This must be won by pinfall or submission. No escape in the cage here tonight. The cage is there to leave you inside the squared circle with nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. And of course the cage can be used as a weapon if and when necessary by these two men. Pete Dunne out for retribution against Sheamus tonight. I'm sure Pete Dunne would love to get his hands on Tommaso Ciampa in the Intercontinental Championship as well, but I'm sure he feels that. Oh, wait a minute! Sheamus taking a spill on the steel cage. What an impact by the Bruiserweight. And Sheamus again hits the cage. You know, Pete Dunne has been sitting on the emotions against the Celtic Warrior Sheamus for several weeks, wanting to get his hands and some retribution on this man. And as we were mentioned, I'm sure Pete Dunne wants another crack at the Intercontinental Championship, but I'm sure he feels he's got to right the wrongs of the issues with Sheamus before he can focus elsewhere. And ever since the opening bell, the Bruiserweight has really taken it to the Celtic Warrior. And Pete Dunne is scaling the top rope, scaling the steel cage. What does this man have in mind here? Coming for the top of the double stomp on Sheamus. Pete Dunne is feeling it in this main event contest inside the steel cage. And Sheamus is looking worse for wear in there right now as Pete Dunne has been all over the Celtic Warrior since the opening bell. Oh, and an Instagory right in the corner. Sheamus' days, Pete Dunne has taken the fight to him ever since the opening bell, as we mentioned. Sheamus not able to mount any offense thus far, and this is not gonna go well for the Celtic Warrior. If not only does he take a loss, but also takes a brutal beating in this matchup on the road to Survivor Series. Sheamus right now is all tied up. The Bruiserweight's really having his way. As we mentioned, Pete Dunne's been sitting on these emotions and letting it, waiting to get him out against Sheamus for several weeks. On top of already going into Judgment Day with the injuries due to attacks from Tommaso Ciampa, Sheamus really put the icing on the cake on that night. And Pete Dunne went in that matchup with Tommaso Ciampa, seriously injured, and had to defend the Intercontinental Championship anyway. You know, Pete Dunne's a tough SOB. He would have went out there against anybody's will or not. But at the end of the day, the injuries were the injuries, and they definitely took a toll on Pete Dunne on that night. Oh, wait a minute, Sheamus here, back in control of this contest, has already got Pete Dunne in the air for that Celtic cross, and Pete Dunne takes a hard fall in the early minutes of this contest, and able to get the shoulder up here, but Sheamus not wasting any time. I'm sure that comes after he sees the offense that Pete Dunne's pulling out. Throwing everything he had at him since the opening bell, Sheamus with a little bit of a desperate maneuver, already pulling out that Celtic cross. Anyway, they could be looking for another one here. Instead, wait a minute, maybe a power bomb could be headed towards the cage. Oh! Slamming him on the steel cage, and another one! Power bomb into the middle of the ring. He done his days, and Sheamus with a bro kick! Early minutes of this matchup! And Pete Dunn able to scale the shoulder off the canvas, but man, that was almost it. This match has only been going for a few minutes. Sheamus really just starting to get some momentum behind him and not wasting any damn time. He wants to get this match over with, not risk any injury inside the steel cage and get the win he wants over Pete Dunne. He almost had him there on that small package, but the Celtic Warrior with that Celtic cross, the power bomb on the cage and the ring and then the bro kick to Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne able to survive, but you know the damage is done to the Bruiserweight right now. Things are already feeling high intensity in this contest after just a few minutes. 
The steel cage is already playing a factor between these two competitors. Oh, wait a minute. Shane's grabbing a hold of the smaller competitor and hits him with that backbreaker, trying to snap Pete Dunne right in half. Now the beatdown's going to commence. You know Sheamus wants to put the hurt on Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne wants retribution, but you know what Sheamus did to Pete Dunne back in Judgment Day and wait a minute, another damn broke kick. And Pete Dunne able to get the shoulder up. That is the second bro kick in just a matter of minutes, and this match has only been going for a few minutes, and somehow the bruiserweight Pete Dunne is still in this matchup. What a fight since the bell rung. And Pete Dunne's getting back. Oh, look at that right there. Right as we're about to discuss it, Pete Dunne getting right back into this contest. How he's not knocked out right now and having his lifeless body dragged off the canvas by officials, I don't know. Taking not one, but two bro kicks dead on from Sheamus. Full impact there. Pete Dunne still swinging in this steel cage matchup. And now here comes out classic Pete Dunne. Grabbing a hold of Sheamus, trying to beat him down limb by limb. And what a stomp to the back of the neck. Brutality since this matchup kicked off. Flipping Sheamus off in the corner. Pete Dunne with a simple yet effective clothesline and sends Sheamus down to the canvas below. What has Pete Dunne got to do to really shift the momentum drastically in this contest? He's doing a number on Sheamus right now, but you got to imagine the intensity level and the damage is definitely in the favor of Sheamus. Pete Dunne took some brutal offense, not one but two bro kicks. And then, of course, the slams and the attacks on the cage. Pete Dunne may look good right now, but internally, he's got to be feeling the damage of what has taken place inside of the steel cage. And you also got to wonder if Pete Dunne's still reeling from any effects from all those attacks from Tommaso Ciampa and even Sheamus back in August and September. Oh, wait a minute, from the top rope with an elbow drop again on Sheamus, this time going into the cover. And not enough just yet, Sheamus still showing signs of life in this main event. And of course the matchup that was signed for Survivor Series really plays a factor in this match as well. It's not just about retribution for these two men tonight, it's about building momentum towards the TD Garden in Boston at the Survivor Series pay-per-view where both these men are going to be a part of traditional Survivor Series teams. Sheamus once again looking to send Pete Dunne to the cage. But the Bruiserweights got something else in mind, able to avoid disaster, at least momentarily there. Sheamus grabs a hold, simple scoop slam. And Pete Dunne back up with the clothesline. Back and forth, the momentum begins to shift in this contest. Who's going to get the upper hand on one another? Who is going to survive the steel cage and be well on their way to the Survivor Series pay-per-view? Where these two men will meet again, just this time with teams by their side. Brutal backbreaker there. No knee pads for Pete Dunne, so that's going to hurt even worse for the Celtic warrior Sheamus. As Pete Dunne again going back to the well with what works, just bringing the fight to Sheamus right here, just as the Bruiserweight always does, picking his opponents apart limb by limb and beating them down. Now grabbing a hold of Sheamus, gonna look to possibly send him into the steel cage, and no, sends him into the corner. Oh, I believe Sheamus busted wide open there. The brutality of this steel cage match taking a number. One final blow to the turnbuckle has sent the Crimson Mass flowing down the head of the great white Sheamus. And that is definitely going to kind of even the odds in this matchup. Pete Dunne may be feeling the effects of the damage from Sheamus, but Sheamus is clearly showing him. Getting turned inside out by Pete Dunne there. And Sheamus' days, Pete Dunne may be going for the final nail in the coffin of this steel cage match. Going for the forearm, Sheamus able to counter and a third bro kick. A third kick right to the face. And there's no getting up from that. It wasn't a long one, but it was certainly a hard-hitting fight inside the confines of that steel cage. And clearly the damage being shown as the blood trickles from Sheamus' face, but what a fight between these two men. A disappointing loss for the Bruiserweight, but in the end, he went down swinging. Not one, not two, but three broke kicks it takes to keep Here Pete Dunne down tonight. The Celtic 
Sheamus may have gotten the last laugh inside the steel cage, but will it be Team Sheamus or Team Drew McIntyre walking out the victors coming up at Survivor Series? Thank you very much for joining us, and we will see you on Universe Mode Episode 58 for Monday Night Raw. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.